Hey guys, it's Bailey and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a quick review of some brand new products from Maybelline. One is a foundation. It's their Superstay Better Skin Skin Transforming Foundation and the other is their Better Skin Concealer and Corrector. So for starters, I ordered both of these from the Ulta website. I That's the first place I saw them because they are so new to the shelves. I thought I'd just buy it right then as I was placing an order for some other stuff. So picked it up, but after looking around and shopping around for prices and shades, the price is relatively competitive. I got mine for around 11 or $12, but Walmart not only has more shades, it has nine rather than the six that Ulta has. It's also a few bucks cheaper. I think it's no more than 10 bucks for the foundation. Um, not the same for the concealer. Pretty much everyone has the four standard shades, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. By the way, as a shade reference, I am nude beige or number 25 in the foundation and light in the concealer. So let's start off with the foundation, what it's supposed to do, how it performed, whether or not I like it. Better Skin Skin Transforming Foundation, that's kind of a tall order. I didn't really know what to expect. I was super impressed when I first applied this. The coverage is absolutely amazing. In fact, and interestingly enough, it reminded me exactly of another brand new foundation out from Too Faced. It's the Born This Way foundation. And the similarities mainly lie in the texture. Both are relatively thick. It's almost like putting a moisturizer on your skin, but it's intensely pigmented, obviously, because this is buildable to medium to I would say about full. It gives really nice flawless coverage, but just like the Born This Way foundation, it doesn't feel like you are wearing anything on your skin. It was really nice to be able to layer this up and really not feel like I was wearing a lot, if any, foundation at all awesome, awesome texture. As far as coverage goes, like I said, it is medium to full. I noticed it really evening out my complexion without looking like I was wearing a mask or like it was too thick or cakey, yet you still get pretty flawless coverage. I did have to go in with a concealer in my under eye area because it doesn't completely cancel out any kind of discoloration, so it's not quite that heavy, but it pretty much gets the job done. So it goes on as a liquid, obviously, but it really dries to a nice powdery texture. Powder lays wonderfully over it. I've worn cream products, cream blushes over it, and then I've also used some, some of the new liquid highlighters from L'Oreal that have come out. So all sorts of textures play really nicely on top of this, despite the fact that it does have a sort of a powdery finish. But, and this is a big but because it's kind of where it all go down, goes downhill from here, it develops shine like nothing else. It doesn't oxidize or anything like that, but I think what you'll be able to see from the before and afters is that it just looks crazy shiny at the end of the day. So I will, and that, that was after about eight hours worth of wear. It wasn't, it wasn't a long day by any means. I spent most of the day indoors, climate controlled, all that kind of stuff. Not really a strenuous day's wear, and that's what it looked like at the end of about eight hours. So that was a little disappointing because that's not something I experienced with the Born This Way foundation. So that to me is the major downfall. On the upside though, it is very moisturizing, very hydrating. Uh, I didn't feel like it was, it didn't make my skin feel like an oil slick when I first put it on, so it doesn't feel extra heavy, it just develops that excess shine throughout the day. So I do think this is going to be a really great foundation for very dry to dry skin types, but oily skin types, you gotta look out. And combo skin types, it's a maybe. The next day I tried it, I applied a primer first. And typically I'm not really big on primers, only in like super extreme weather circumstances will I apply a primer and setting powder and like go the whole nine. So I did, just to make this work. I used my Kat Von D Locket Primer because it's my favorite kind of non silicone -y primer. I don't like the feel of those silicone based primers. So that's my go-to for primer. Applied that all over my face before putting this on. And I put setting powder not only in my under eye area to set my concealer and whatever foundation on underneath, but also my T-zone, and still, the results are a little bit better, but not by much. There is some significant excess shine. Now, if, and, and I think the camera isn't really doing justice to just how shiny I felt like I looked at the end of the day when I looked in the mirror, so that is something to keep in mind if you're looking at that and thinking, that's eh, not as extreme as she's making it sound. It was pretty stinking shiny. For as many foundations as I've tried, I thought I was really shiny at the end of the day. Now, if you look at how that foundation developed throughout the day and you think that's not a big deal for you, go for it. This is such an amazing foundation. It just looks absolutely and blends beautifully into the skin. I couldn't recommend it more. But it says it's super stay. 
Super Stay Better Skin Foundation. You'd think it'd super stay throughout the day and it really just didn't throughout, didn't for me without developing a serious shine issue. So like I said, a dry skin types, very dry skin types, embrace this because it will, I think it's gonna be your skin's new best friend. Oily skin types, skip it all together because if it behaved on you like it did on me, you're gonna have some real issues. And then combo skin, if you have a stellar top-notch primer and setting powder that you feel like could whip this guy into shape, give it a try, because like I said, has beautiful results, just not when it comes to wear time, unfortunately. So those are my recommendations there. Moving on to, where did it go? The concealer. This same kind of deal, Super Stay Better Skin Concealer and Corrector. And I didn't realize this was a corrector right when I bought it. I just thought it was like the matching concealer. But it was funny, I noticed when I actually went to go apply it for the first time, it is has a slightly yellow tinge to it. And because of that, I felt like it really eliminated any purpley blue tones that I tend to have in my under eye area and brighten them up. It really does both conceal and correct all at once which some of those concealers that kind of claim to do both don't in my opinion this really does the texture is nice it's not super thick yet it gives the same kind of full and buildable coverage that the foundation does so you can really layer it on build it up for additional coverage but you don't you, it's not going to cake up or crease at all like another heavy duty full coverage concealer might and i'm happy to say that unlike the foundation this stuff stayed put all day and i gotta tell you the truth the first day i put it on and tested it i didn't set it with any powder i totally forgot to set it with powder so the before and after you're gonna see which is the same before and after as the foundation, I think the under eyes held up really, really well for having not been set with any powder. Then of course, when I did the second trial with the primer and the setting powder, I remembered to set this guy. Obviously it performed beautifully. Of the two, I think the concealer, concealer is easily the most universal. The shade range leaves a little bit to be desired though. There are only four. I have the shade light, so I wouldn't say there's a whole lot of wiggle room for either the fairest of the fair or the deepest of the deep, unfortunately. But if you can find a shade that works for you, I do recommend getting your hands on it because I, I'm just really impressed with the way it applied, the way it wore, and the fact that it actually concealed and corrected and gives you a good amount of coverage without having to layer and then anticipate kind of caking and creasing. So A plus for the concealer, eh, not so much for the foundation and not for not loving it. I absolutely love gotta reiterate, loved the way it looked on the skin. Didn't love the way it wore on the skin. So mixed bag with the two new base products from Maybelline. I would love to hear you guys' comments, input experiences on both of these in the comments below. Always super valuable for me and for everybody else watching. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.